Hello and welcome. Today we'll be demonstrating how business analysts can quickly identify problems through self-service discovery using trusted governed data. The ability to further explore data without requesting assistance of scarce technical resources and knowing where the data comes from so you can have confidence in your findings helps businesses identify opportunities or challenges more quickly so they can take action. In today's demonstration I'll be playing the role of a business analyst that's been asked by their manager to understand why we've recently experienced an increase in customer complaints regarding delayed phone activations. I've got a few different questions and thoughts as to how I can get to the bottom of this and figure out what's causing these delays. In order to answer these questions and figure out what's happening, I'll be leveraging Cognos Analytics and Infosphere Information Governance Catalog. The main question I have is, why are these delays happening? I also need access to data in order to find out. And I need to know that the data can be trusted, so I need to know where it came from. I also need to understand how the different key performance indicators are calculated so that I'm sure to follow the company standard. So I'm going to switch over to my Cognos Analytics environment and open up a dashboard that's been developed to track phone activations over a 12-hour period. Now, I'll walk you through this dashboard real quick so you can understand what we're looking at here. Each of the 12 hours is broken into 15-minute increments, and I can see the different stages that they've been in, from the carrier period to the over-the-air period, the number complete, the number not complete, and then a completion rate. I can also see the average completion rate, which is this area chart behind here. One of the key things to note is this completion rate alert. Anytime this, the completion rate falls below this line, I receive an alert. And then we've also leveraged SPSS to do a predictive model showing what we forecast our completion rates to be. Anytime the forecasted completion rate drops below the, the completion rate alert line, a notification is sent out so we can take action. Since we didn't receive any notifications, I'm going to have to dig a bit deeper to understand what's happening here. Now, I want to make sure that I understand how they're calculating the completion rate. So I'm going to open up the glossary from Information Governance Catalog, which defines key terms. In this particular one, the current 15-minute completion rate, I can see that it's the percentage of successful activations during the current 15-minute window, and it's calculated as success divided by total. I can also see the other activation KPIs that are associated to this chart. For example, the OTA period. If I didn't know what OTA stands for, I can look up the definition. It's over the air period, which is the time it takes to activate the phone after the carrier completes their activation step. So I'm going to need to access the same data that's being leveraged for this dashboard. To see what that is, I'll move to design mode of my report and then look up the, the data itself. Specifically, I'm interested in the successful activations because that's really what drives customer satisfaction. I want to understand where this data comes from so that I can be sure that I trust the information. With Information Governance Catalog and Cognos Lineage, I'm able to drill into the specifics of where an item comes from. I want to check it directly from what database table that it's generated from. So I'll run the lineage report and I'll zoom in here a bit and I can see that this comes from the activation base table. I've done analysis in the past on the activations base so I know this will be the right information to get me to my answer. In addition, if I wanted to look at any of the transformation projects that were used in order to populate the activation base table, I can do that as well from this interface. 
So I'm going to create a new dashboard, which allows me to do some ad hoc data discovery. We'll just do a single page dashboard. And I think this layout will be useful. Now I'm going to select that same data source that was being used for the previous dashboard. All right, and to start off, I'll give it a quick title just so we keep track of what we're working on. So we're going to call this activation delays and today's date. And we'll just center that title and we'll put a background color of white. Okay. Now I'll move back to my data area. While I'm focused on the success, I need to understand the total activations and the, where the total time is spent. So I'll bring over the total activations and I want this organized by time, just like my other dashboard. So I have 15 minute increments. I'll bring that over. As you can see, it's very easy to start exploring my data. I'm going to bring over the status so that I can see the different time that it's spent in each of the areas. And for my particular view, I'd like to use the stacked column that was used in our other dashboard. So I can quickly change that. To give myself a little bit more room to work, I'm going to move, I'm going to hide the axis titles and move the legend to the top. Okay, so now I've got over a 24 hour period, all of my, the different statuses that the calls were in or the activations were in. I'm going to duplicate this chart and move it move it down below so I can then add in the activation success rate. Here, instead of the total, I want to use the success calculation. Now this data source didn't actually have the calculation, but I remember from the governance catalog that it was success divided by total. So I'll create a calculation that I can use. And we're going to use success divided by total and we'll call that our current 15 minute completion rate and we'll just use the same abbreviation that the other dashboard had. I'm going to bring that in and replace total with that value. And we'll move this, change this to a line chart. So if I'm looking at this information correctly, I can see over time everything is within my tolerance. My rate alert is at 60%, so there must be something else going on. The first step of the process is the carrier period. We do have a handful of different carriers, so I'm going to bring that over as something that I can filter on. So we'll bring over our carrier and add that into the dashboard. All right, now I'll focus in on Acme. Oh, look what I see there. There's two spikes that drop significantly below the alert threshold. But in aggregate, we weren't alerted. So this could be something that we need to focus on. And it looks like it's two very specific time periods. 
9.30 and 5.30. So I'm going to bring over a filter on the hour so that we can isolate our analysis to those hours. In order to make it a little easier to see, I'll just bring a local filter over for the two hours that I'm concerned with. So 9 o'clock and 5 o'clock. And we'll select both of those for our analysis. All right. This is looking a lot better. Now I can see that specifically on 9.30 and then again at 5.30 there was a big drop in the number of successful completions. So my next step is to send this information over to our carrier ACME and see what, if they can shed any light on what's happening. After getting this information back from ACME, it turns out that 9.30 and 5.30 are shift change times, and they recently brought on some new individuals, and during the shift change, things weren't happening as smoothly as possible. ACME is committed to change this, and now I have the information to give to my manager. In addition, I asked our IT department to create a more standardized report that would allow us to do this filtering on our own. So now, in addition to having the forecasted dashboard, I also have a dashboard that allows me to select and filter out individual carriers as well as brands and channels. So now if I focus in on Acme and filter this out, I can identify the same drop at 5.30 or at 9.30 and 5.30 and this would have triggered an alert. So now we've modified our alerts to be specific to carriers so anytime a specific carrier drops below now we have a process in place. That's the end of the demonstration. Hopefully you've been able to see how leveraging Cognos Analytics integrated with Infosphere information governance I can enable business analysts to find answers to their problems, doing data discovery on data that they trust and that they can understand. Thank you.